This is wow, one of the coolest hidden gems I've ever been to. In the last episode of my Training for the Lejog series, I explored incredible medieval castles found in a beautiful part of England called High Wheel. Now join me as I continue my training, discovering unreal hidden forts and hiking along stunning beach landscapes. All right, good morning, everyone. I am currently walking near the White Cliffs of Dover, and these aren't the iconic White Cliffs of Dover, but just as spectacular and just a lot less known. And the reason why I'm here is not only to see these awesome walls, but is to also go to a place called Neptune's Tower. It's early mornings. I'm a tad tired, but very excited to explore today's hidden gems. And this is just the first one, but we're gonna be doing loads of coastal forts, castles, and just stuff that you don't really know are in England. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just under these towering white walls. I've never seen landscapes like this, and every so often you get these indents like this here. Just a random, almost cave, but not really deep. It's just stunning. I've never seen stone like it. I'm here at Neptune's Tower, which was actually a folly built in the 1700s. And to be honest, <laughs> it's not as big or as in the wild as I thought. It's really on a public trail, actually part of a golf course. It's still a very cool tower. Uh, there's not much history to it, just it's a folly. It was used for decorative purposes, but uh, it's still very pretty. taking a short drive to the next hidden gem, which is this ancient abbey mixed with an ancient Roman fort from the first and second century. Now most of this site has actually been claimed by the sea, but it isn't just found in such a dramatic location. I just took another short drive and I am just outside Dover Castle. Very, very impressive and I mean, I think I've come definitely the wrong way to the entrance but the good thing about that is I'm just on the other side of the moat looking up at the walls of the castle and it's a really impressive angle of the place. Really cool, it's such a massive castle and the moat is huge also. So I'm just going to walk around the edge of it and try to find a way in and explore this area. But, uh, wow, so stunning. I can't believe no one else is on this trail. So I just walked around the front of it and the gate is closed and blocked, so I don't think there's any way in to actually behind the walls this way. I'm gonna try go the other way around and see if there's a back entrance or if there's anything more to explore. I have absolutely no idea what this is. There seems to be a lot of secret structures, all of which I can't really get into, but this, definitely one of the more peculiar ones. I'm just trying to make my way up the other side of the hill, and every so often just coming across these old structures now overgrown by nature. It's, 
it's beautiful and I, I wish I knew what it was, but it's very beautiful and mysterious. I think this here is a fort that's been built into the mound and maybe they even use parts of the castle. I know when England and France were at war, this is one of the shortest channels. In fact, it is the shortest channels between France and England, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is just one giant fortification built into the mountain. I mean, it's incredible. I, I wish I could go and explore inside, but it's very cool just to be here. And It's huge, a huge fort, biggest fort I've ever seen. I've arrived at somewhere called the Western Heights and it is a network of a bunch of deep fortifications built in here. And they were built during the time that Britain and France were at war. Here just beyond Dover it's the shortest stretch of sea between France and England so this area was heavily fortified in case of invasion. I'm just in the middle of this network of forts and it's not like they protrude above the ground they're all sunken in under the earth oh it's incredible it's such a massive sort of fort when you're walking through these man-made concrete valleys it is incredible I've never experienced a fort like this at all This has to be one of the coolest trails I've ever walked through. It feels as though it's like millions of years in the future and it's post-apocalyptic and it's like I'm hiking through ancient civilizations. The structures remaining are so grand and huge but totally overrun by nature and just forgotten in time and it's such a cool trail and the nature's beautiful and the fort is huge. I'm just walking through this long passageway with giant walls either side of me. It's like nothing I've ever experienced on a hiking trail just to feel so insignificant in a really cool way. Just being surrounded by a massive historic landmark. I think there might be a giant cow blocking the trail. <laughs> Hello. I guess I'm going to find another way. <laughs> this trail just keeps getting cooler and cooler. I think I found another way out of the fort. I'm just coming up to where a bunch of guns were mounted on the side of this mountain. found some sort of bridge that is now broken but this is obviously another fort and um, there doesn't seem to be a clear way into this one unlike the other one has a clear trail going through it but I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find a way over to the other side and explore this fort So I've found a way in to the moat in between the fort anyway. I'm in between the huge giant walls. And I'm just gonna walk through this for a bit and see what I can find. It's so fun to go fort hunting. I feel like that's been today's hiking theme. I really enjoyed it.
My mind is genuinely blown. I've come into an even deeper layer within the walls. And you can see, now see some of the sort of windows where they would have shot out of. And this is just such a crazy trail. And an amazing hidden gem. I really feel like I'm exploring an ancient civilization that's been long lost, but still their giant buildings remain now totally overgrown. It's so cool.